Hello everyone, my name is Ashpreet and I welcome you all to the session. Today, we are going to discuss grade 10th CBSE chapter Poli by K.A. Abbas. So the story revolves around this girl who, due to an accidental fall and disease in her childhood, faces many problems of being tall and ugly and she also stammered a lot. So let's get to know more about this girl. Bholi. Bholi was a special girl. Her real name was Sulekha and she was the fourth daughter of Ramlal who was a Lambardar. Lambardar is a person who collects revenue. So when she was only 10 months old, she'd fallen on her head from a narrow bed or what you call as a cot. So this incident kind of damaged some part of her brain, making her a slow learner. And she had an attack of smallpox at the age of two. The whole body was disfigured except her eyes and it had small pock marks. She also stammered badly and other people, they mimicked her, they made fun of her. So, let's talk about her family. Ramlal had seven children or one can say that Poli had three brothers and three sisters and she was the youngest. Her brothers, they were sent to school and college. Girls weren't. In fact, her eldest sister Radha was already married. And when Poli was seven, her other elder sister Mangla got married. And now it was Champa, the third daughter's turn. So a primary school for girls was opened, was inaugurated in the village. And as I told you, None of her other sisters were sent to school. Only Bholi was sent to school as she had little chance of getting married. In fact, let me tell you, the Tehsildar, the district collector who inaugurated the school, asked Ramlal to send his daughters to school. And now, after Ramlal discussed the matter with his wife, he sent Bholi to school. But Bholi was frightened. Bholi was reminded that a few days ago their cow, Lakshmi, was sent out of home and her father got money in return for it. She thought that she too would be sold like Lakshmi. And it was the first time that Bholi got new clothes to wear when she was sent to school and upon reaching the school, Poli's eyes, they were full of fear because it was the first time that she'd gone out of home. And in the class, the lady teacher was teaching something, but Poli was looking at the walls and the chart. There were animals like the parrot, the cow, who reminded her of Lakshmi. So now the teacher asked Poli her name, but she stammered, b -b 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 she couldn't speak. So the teacher helped, praised, encouraged her a lot to speak clearly. She also told her that one day she would become an educated person in the village. And people, they would respect her because of her knowledge and wisdom. Years passed. The village became a small town. Many things came up. Many new places were built. Many things changed. So Poli's parents, they decided to marry her with a middle-aged man, Bishambar. The reason being, that he had a big shop, his own house, cash deposit in the bank. And in fact, he was not asking for dowry. But he was 45 or 50 years old. 
was handicapped and also had grown up children from his first marriage so the marriage was set and when the groom arrived bholi was wearing a veil she had covered her face and when bishambar accidentally saw bholi's face at the time of wedding he laid down a condition he said that he would marry only if he was given 5000 rupees because the girl had pock marks throughout her body and even her face so bholi's father had to give him the money but now bholi she refused to marry such a greedy man but bholi's father told her that nobody else would marry her at this bholi said that she would look after her parents her old parents and she said that she would teach in the school where she learned so much so she sought approval from her teacher who was there and observing things observing the drama and she was deeply satisfied with bholi's response she had the same feeling that an artist has once he's finished his masterpiece so that's all about the story i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please do like share and subscribe thank you bye bye